If you were to ask someone who knew nothing about the Pikmin series to name three characters, they'd probably say something across the lines of the colorful little aliens, that space guy with the big nose, and that snail thingy from that one Smash Bros stage. And I'll have you know that snail thing is called a ball borb. And it's actually a pretty iconic enemy. So iconic, it's had dozens of variations over the years. Some take a pretty cool spin on the original and others are lazy. And as someone whose profile picture is a literal ball borb, I think it's only fitting that I'm the one who determines which is the best. Because as my track record likes to show, I'm pretty much an expert at this kind of stuff. In terms of ranking them, there's no rules, like, at all. If I like them, they go higher on the list, and that's all there is to it. So what does that mean, guys? Let's all say it together. This list is made in my own opinion. So I don't want to see any of you guys crying over in the comment section saying things like, Oh, Raggins, you should have put the hairy ball borb higher because I like the hairy ball borb. Well, guess what, Concrete Muncher 456? I don't. In fact, he's in dead last place. The hairy ball borb is one of those forgotten Pikmin enemies and it should stay that way. This thing is hideous. Why did they decide to give a Pikmin enemy a receding hairline? And I also can't help but wonder why it has this weird dark spot on its snout. Did he dip his face in a pile of shit or something? The hairy ball barb looks like Mar from Home Alone when he gets electrocuted. In 19th place, we have the water dumple. Yeah, that's right. It's not even a ball barb, but still beats out the hairy asshole. The water dumple is technically a part of the grub dog family, so I gotta give it some credit. And I don't hate this thing, it just kinda sucks at being a ball barb. The water dumple was supposed to be an aquatic ball barb, but Hey Pikmin corrected that by creating the ball beal. I only learned about this thing's existence like two days ago, and although it's ugly as fuck, I gotta give the idea some credit, but not so much the execution. In 17th place, we may have a fan favorite, and it's the orange ball board, but I really don't care for these guys. It's an ever so slightly stronger version of the original in an uglier colorway. These guys have no reason to be in the game, and in my opinion, are a waste of two enemy slots. And actually, I think one of those enemy slots should have been given to the moldy dwarf ball board. I like how white Pikmin are given their own respective enemy, but I really wish we got to see a full-size version of the moldy ball board. At first, its design was kind of weird, but it's starting to grow on me. However, it ranks this low on the list since we don't get to see its adult form. Coming in at 15th place, we have all the mecha ball boards from Pikmin Adventure. More specifically, the Bob Lord. Usually, I don't really like these spin-off-y robot type of stuff, but I'd be lying if I said the Bob Lord was lame. They did this thing justice by making it look as menacing as possible, while still keeping the original essence of a ball board. In 14th place, we have Ball Borb Sore. Yeah, I'm being serious. I had to get this list of 20 Ball Borbs because I like even numbers and I really didn't want to have to include the bread bug, so here we go. Ball Borb Sore. The Snow Ball Borb is the prepubescent version of the Hairy Ball Borb before it went through that weird balding phase. It has a cool color palette and doesn't have a receding hairline, earning it 13th place. Next up, we have the Albino Ball Borb, and there's not much I can say about this guy. Yeah, it's pretty cool, he's the missing link in like, every Ball Borb's evolutionary line, but that's about it. In 11th place, we have the one and only Ball Borb Larva. These guys are brutally quick at eating your Pikmin, and I love it. Yeah, they're weak on their own, but in numbers, Ball Borb Larvas are a force to be reckoned with. In 10th place, we have a hot take, and it's the Emperor Ball Wax. In my eyes, he's hideous, but I gotta admit, he's got a lot going for him. Fighting this guy as the final boss in Pikmin 1 is pretty drawn out and boring, but iconic at the same time. And although his renditions in Pikmin 2 and 4 aren't really the greatest, I still think he's not that bad. Ninth place is where we start talking about the real heavy hitters. And it pains me to put them this low on the list, but the number 9 spot goes to the original Ball Borb family. Painfully basic, but iconic as fuck. Rolling into 8th place is the Queen Bee herself, the Empress Ball Blacks. I actually think this is one of the ugliest creatures in the history of Pikmin, but every time I run into this thing, I can't help but enjoy the challenge it poses. Coming in at our number 7 spot, we have the one, the only, Drippy Ball Borb. This special breed of Ball Borb is a massive sneakerhead. I'm talking Brad 11s, Pirate Black Yeezys, Balenciaga's Speedrunners. This guy poured more money into his kick game than his life savings account. But regardless of all his poor financial decisions, you gotta respect the drip. In 6th place, we got the Ball Borb with the crustiest lips of all time, the Ball Bear. I love how in the previous games, he'd regenerate health, and if he didn't sacrifice him to the onion fast enough, he'd come back from the dead. And also, I gotta admit, he's got a pretty sick color palette. Red and black is one of those color combos that just always works. Starting up our top 5, we have the Fiery Ball Blacks. And if it weren't for his complete design overall in Pikmin 4, he would have been somewhere near last place. But fighting this guy has always been a fun challenge, and now that we get to see him in his full HD glory, I've grown an appreciation for the Fiery Ball Blacks. 
In fourth place, I'm surprised they rank this high, but we have a newcomer to the Ballborb family. The Frosty Ballborb is what the Harry Ballborb should have been. It has unique elemental typing, it's got these menacing icicles coming out of his back, and the color. That bright icy blue just works here. The nose is kind of weird, but I'm willing to look past that just for the sole fact that I like the color blue. Earning the bronze medal. I'm putting the Baldman up here. And what's there to say about these guys? Everyone knows how beloved the Baldman are. And if they were less of a Pikmin, more of a Baldorb, I would have put them at the number one spot. But they're really just a parasite Pikmin hijacking a Baldorb's body. That being said, you gotta love these guys. Coming in at our number two spot, we have the most unique Baldorb on the list, and it's the Whip Tongue. This is everything a newly introduced Baldorb should be. Classy color palette, takes a slight twist on the original Baldorb's design, and has a character-defining gimmick. The Whip Tongue Baldorb was unironically a phenomenal decision by Nintendo, and it's a real shame we haven't seen any Baldorb on this level of creativity in Pikmin 4. Now, you're probably thinking, Raggins, you already talked about all the Baldorbs, and to that I say, no. There's one Baldorb that we're all forgetting about, and is hands down the coolest, the funniest, the smartest, the absolute best Baldorb to ever exist. First place goes to the one, the only, the number one Baldorb is me.